Cybertext by Espen Arset is a book published in 1997 and is considered one of the founding works of literature in the field of game studies. In his book, Arset introduces the term Cybertext. The concept of Cybertext focuses on the mechanical organization of text, posing the intricacies of the medium as an integral part of the literary exchange. However, it also centers attention on the consumer or user of the text as a more integrated figure than even reader response theorists would claim. With Cybertext, Arset tries to account for media such as text adventures, hypertext, and multi user dungeons. He does that because he opposes what he calls imperial ambitions of theorists to impose literary theories on games and interactive media. Arset forwards the idea that new media need new frameworks and should not be studied by outdated theories. Cybertexts cannot be equated with reading texts because they are ergodic literature, a term appropriated from physics that derives from the Greek words ergon and hodos, meaning work and path. In ergodic literature, non-trivial effort is required to allow the reader to traverse the text. The interactivity of a user, a player, is crucial to Arset's argument. It is the factor that questions authorship, readership, agency and ontology of interactive media as a text. How can literary theories be applied on a medium intimately bound to its own technological complexity that creates an ever-changing narrative according to the interaction of its users. According to our set, there has to be a different way to force innovative and better results in studying interactive media. He proposes to create new typologies that divide text forms into static and dynamic ones, linear and ergodic. He assesses the degree of dynamics according to a set of parameters and concludes that a dichotomy between paper text and digital text does not hold. There might be a difference between cybertext, hypertext and paper text, but these differences are not continuous over a number of specimens. However, a typological approach can help to understand why a literary theory might not be the best approach to study narrative aspects of interactive media if the narrative's progression is enforced by dynamic user interactivity. Arset continues his discussion on basis of role-playing in multi-user dungeons and unfolding story in the game Adventure. Multi-user dungeons showed that unfolding roleplay was less based on the agreed frameworks by people than by their feeling of privacy. Arset observed that roleplay was taken much more seriously in early mods and became more superficial in later years as more people joined and a higher degree of social expectation seemed apparent. While the text-based adventure games, such as Adventure and subsequent versions, and their interactive fiction depended on the interaction and motivation of players. This speaks for a strong dependency on the user who becomes an author through interaction herself. However, Arset admits, as Janet Murray and other argue, the adventure game type of computer textuality is hardly one where the author has given up control. Rather, the user can be manipulated in new and powerful ways. So even though Arset stresses the importance of the user and interactivity in how a game or interactive narrative unfolds and should be studied, he admits that it remains to discuss in how far agency is a delusion to the player. Notwithstanding, Arset leads this discussion into a more political light in the later sections of his book in a way foreshadowing further and new applications of critical theory on video games. It may be uncertain if the writer or reader is the author, but if none of them are, then the author is to be found in the ultimate producer of those media. To force the responsibility of authorship onto the reader or user is to acknowledge the struggle for power fundamental to any medium. If the difference between author and reader has vanished or diminished, then the real author must be hiding somewhere else. 
even if we can no longer use the word author in a meaningful way, it would be irresponsible to assume that his position has simply gone away, leaving a vacuum to be filled by the audience. It's been quite a while since this book has been written and its well, uh, conceptual and theoretical value might be questioned and challenged by now. Um, but nonetheless, the historical value of this book for the academic field of game studies is extremely important. Um, it displays a wonderful example, a historical snapshot, which was very important for the field to develop as it shows how an opposition to a streamlined discourse back then of just applying already pre-existing theories on games uh, came into place. Arset's statement and argument was that games or interactive media, more or less, should be an own um, discipline, like to study them should be an own discipline. We should start to develop new methodologies, new perspectives that consider games not inferior to, to texts that uh, are needy for uh, literary theories, but that those media need their own frameworks to be discussed properly. Um, so as this book might not have a well very practical um, use for today's discourse, it nonetheless shows how important it was back then that a scholar opposed to a streamlined discussion uh, or streamlined direction of discussing games. Interesting enough, it is not even that he provided in like extremely in innovative um, frameworks as even he was more or less claiming that we cannot use literary theories, but in the end he started using frameworks of Umberto Eco, for example. So it was more or less like an intellectual fiend. So what he effectively did wasn't providing the means to start game studies, but what he did was to provide a new discussion that helped game studies to develop new methodologies and more progressive ways to deal with games. This brought an a very important development in regarding games not just as texts but as a whole practice technologically uh, endorsed um, to, to be considered while studying uh, video games or interactive media. If you're just slightly interested in game studies, I do not recommend you reading this book, for sure not, you won't get much out of it, but if you are an emerging um, researcher uh, in the field, it is an essential read. Even if you just skim through it, you will understand much better how and why game studies developed back then into that particular way. So, um, yeah, there was Cybertext by Espen Arset, or at least an extremely condensed uh, insight into his thoughts. Thank you for listening.